this is from CNBC. I'm going to make sure. I'll put a link when I'm done. Climate change will dominate Biden's agenda when he heads to Europe in the next two weeks. Okay. Also, he's also spending near. He's also sending nearly half of his cabinet to the delegation led by Special Presidential Envoy for Climate, John Kerry. Oh, what a sweetheart! Man, he means everything to the world. Okay, now I'll just get out of there for a minute. Let's, uh... we got another little thing I want to... little tidbit i got to show you. And, uh... Kind of pissed me off. Well, not kind of. Okay. Right here. School and hot water over lap dances. Hooters costumes. Lap dances to the school staff. Principal, who's also the mayor, was involved. Okay. Now, why did I show you that? Well, we'll get to that in a second. Let's go over here. About time, kitty. Now, I've told you before, a lot of you people were... Maybe you weren't born then, or whatever, but uh, you weren't around, you weren't awake. Let's get to this. This is Follow the Progress with the Handy Communist check, check, Checklist. This was a, appeared in the Congressional Records of January 10th, 1963. And it says here, Promote the United Nations is the only hope for mankind. If its charter is rewritten, demand that it be set up as a one world government with its own independent armed forces. Now, I've told you before, the UN is communist at its, uh, well, you've been infiltrated, people. Let's put it that way. Now, let's get down here. Okay. Eliminate all laws governing obscenity by calling them censorship and a violation of free speech and free press. Break down culture standards of morality by promoting pornography and obscenity in books, magazines, motion picture, radio, and TV. Present homosexual uh, proximity as normal and natural and healthy. Infiltrate the churches and replace religion with social religion. Discredit the Bible. Emphasize the need for intellectual maturity, which does not need a religious crutch. Eliminate prayer or any phase of religious expression in the schools on the ground that violates the principles of separation of church and state. Discredit the American Constitution by calling it inadequate, old-fashioned, out of step with time. Discredit the American Founding Fathers. Belittle all forms of American culture to discredit the teaching of American history on the grounds that it was only a minor part of the big picture. Support any social movement to give centralized control or over any part of their culture, their education, welfare programs, etc. You know, Hillary Clinton's health care plan. Eliminate all laws or procedures which interfere with the operation of the communist apparatus. Let's see. Infiltrate, gain more control over the unions, big business. Transfer some of the powers of arrest from the police to social agencies. Treat all behavioral problems as psychiatric disorders, which no one but a psychiatrist can understand. Hmm. Okay. Are you getting the picture? Okay, let's get back here. We're going to go do something else. Oh, well, speaking of uh, people who are ruining your government, you've got... Uh, You see Jerome Nader is a, a name of 11 Democrats, members of the Judiciary Senate. John Connors, Tammy Baldwin, Gerald Naylor, you know, all, the, all these people. That's just part of the problem, people. You've got communists in power. Okay. Uh, here's something I know a lot of people overlooked. I'm going to read this because this, this is something I had read made copies of, uh, so on and so forth. 
This is 1993. Clinton administration plans mandatory vaccines for all children in the U.S. United Nations plans for prosecution of parents who interfere with the rights of the child. Okay, Clinton uh, announced parents who a mandatory program which compel all parents to have their children vaccinated against government-specified diseases. Let me zoom in on that. The program will be run by the Health and Human Services Department will provide a vaccination for free. Parents attempt to evade the inoculation program would be charged with criminal abuse of a child and would be subject to legal prosecution, jail, fine, uh, removal of children from the parents' custody. In order to ensure all infants and preschool children are vaccinated according to the government requirements, the Clinton plan would set up for the first time in history a computer registration system which would track all children born in the U.S. through age six. Don't make this stuff up, people. That's why I made, because when you try to tell somebody something, if you don't have the proof to back it up, you're talking to hot air. Uh, yeah, these bills are designed to create a registry with the capability to do tracking and surveillance of all U.S. children. He also said it would be set up if a child does not show up and get a vaccination, bells and whistles will go off, <laughs> and they'll come and go get the parents and for neglect and criminal child abuse. Now we're talking about religion. It was in, in uh, uh, congressional records. The, play, the checklist. Delegates from eight nations choose the city as launching pad for spiritual initiatives. Yeah. Religions have no sense of common vocation. Uh, hmm. Yeah, they're going to end religious violence in the spirit of the United Nations is coming to Pittsburgh June to launch its mission. And that was uh, in the Pittsburgh Post-Gazette Tuesday, May 9th, 2000. Here's, this, here's some sweet little buggers. Oh, yeah. They're going to protect religious sites. Uh-huh. People, wake up. There, people, is your. Tell you something. It's a hidden agenda. The United Nations is a Trojan horse. It was presented to America by rich, powerful men under the guise of peace. One of the purpose is to promote laws and treaties that will make us submissive. With such laws, you can then manipulate people while any undue protest. In this way, they can also achieve power and control in a quiet and subtle manner while ever having to fire a shot. Okay, let's, let's, let's see here. Let's go, i got a bunch of stuff to go over, so we've got to make it quick. Uh, Clinton wanted a UN army. Uh, President Clinton's presidential directive 71 never been released to the public as his national security has called for a stronger United Nations, United States response to maintaining order in societies recovering from conflict. The international community needs to identify and train units that are able to control crowds, deter vigilantes, prevent looting, disarm civilian agitators, while at the same time winning the trust of communities. Yeah. Uh, Albright didn't define the terms of civilian average agitators, leaving open the possibility that it could include critics of the United Nations. Taken to America? Well, people... United, the U.S. National Cart, Parks came under the control of the United Nations. I'll show you right here. Great Smoky Mountains National Park, an international biosphere reserve, and this includes all your damn parks. Uh, they are a reserve area administered by the United Nations Committee whose authority supersedes the U.S. government. I'm sorry, it does not. It's Buchanan. Took aim at the New World Order. In a fiery speech to the New Hampshire legislator, Buchanan rallied against the United Nations, the World Bank, and the World Trade Organization for usurping American sovereignty. 
Here's another goodie. Read my lips, son. New World Order. The Education of W. Here's Cronkite. Cronkite wants world government. He has thrown off his deceitful veil of objectivity and calls for an end of U.S. sovereignty. Yeah, he stood before the United Nations and called for an international body to become a world government for the United States to surrender its national sovereignty. First Lady Hillary Clinton stood by and clapped. Uh, we must strengthen the United Nations, our first step toward a world government, pattern after our own government, with legislation, executive, and judiciary, and police to enforce the international law and keep the peace. Uh, we may have to surrender some of our soul. It will take a lot of courage, a lot of faith for this new order, but we cannot de defer this responsibility. They call it World Heritage Sites, people. Here, looky here. UN has to uh, boost the gay rights. Un United Nations, World Bank, cities, the cities threaten the environment. Oh, that's uh, Salem News, April 18th, 1996. United Nations also wants to control the world's water. The World Bank, another vehicle for the globalist agenda of undermined state sovereignty, has outlined its plan to gain control of the world's water supply. Remember Madeleine Albright? Black Bart. He might be gone, but the new bad guy is the United Nations. The world faces uh, instability due to water shortages. Tuesday, September 1st, 1998, the Canton Repository. Better put that up so you guys can, can see. I don't make this stuff up. Here's another little swing thing. Outrageous UN Treaty promotes the child's rights. Yep, Article 27 recognizes the rights of every child to a standard of living adequate to the child's physical, mental, spiritual, moral, and social development and directly signature nature to take steps to guarantee that's a standard for every child. Uh, let's see. It goes on and on. Yeah. Freedom of association. They can do whatever they want. Gives, gives chance, uh, gives grants the children the right to freely express in all manners. So it goes so on and so forth. Now this was 1995, people. Told you they want control of everything. I better zoom that in. Let's see what else we got here. Yeah. Proposed UN treaty will strip parents of their rights. Uh... There's that thing I was telling you about the about the the, the churches. You know, uh, UN summit, the real act of face. Ted Turner, who's UN Foundation Better World Fund, helped pay for this conference. I was born a Christian family, who once said publicly that Christianity was for losers. Okay, here you go again. Many scientists uh, not aboard the global steam roller. Uh, here's your, your Department of Homeland Security, and what do they say? What do they say? Met military veterans who have fought in foreign wars and are disgruntled about the takeover of the U.S. by the, uh, yeah, anyway. Uh, if you, if you, uh, oppose, uh, Pose uh, anything up to the U.S. submission to the United Nations or to the World Health Organization that makes you enemy. The people are the enemy. Here's Clinton's hate crime laws. And that people was 1999. There's a truth about the Korean War. You have no idea, people. Each and every one that served in Korea and Vietnam served under the total command of a Soviet general. All this stuff had to go back to New York, to the UN, and then they informed the enemy about what we were going to do. And that's why you can't win any wars in the United Front. It, yeah. Anyway, I had to talk quick. People wanted to get to all this in. Um, 
this is what we don't want. We don't want global government. No UN blue. Thanks for watching.